Democrat officials ringing the alarm bells at DNC, you're making the same mistakes Hillary did, not reaching voters in key battleground states like Ohio, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, that Trump won. Let's get right to Fox News con uh, contributor Deneen Borelli. I mean, the Trump campaign is carpet bombing these states. Deneen, what are they doing? Well, listen, uh, the president is showing the results of his promises from the campaign trail, and we're seeing it across the country. When you're looking at this, the very states that you mentioned, and the DNC is in, I think, really serious trouble right now, uh, they're one big hot mess, Liz. When you look at how uh, they're having problems fundraising, for example, the month of June, they raised uh, $8.5 million. The RNC raised $20.7. Uh, you look at their ununified message. There are way too many candidates. The DNC can't get behind one because there's so many of them. So they have a lot of issues that are going on right now with the DNC and with the Democrat Party. Yeah, the president won these states. I mean, some of these states, Pennsylvania and Michigan, didn't vote for Republicans since 1988, Wisconsin since 1984. I want to get to what Judge Jeanine Pirro said about a President Warren or a President Sanders. Watch this. And they're absolutely convinced that in the end, the rich is going to pay for it. But this guy can't do basic math, which is no surprise since he never had a real job. Uh, and they can't possibly pay for any of this stuff. And the bottom line with Bernie Sanders is that there is no such thing as Democrat socialism, unless it's just socialism for the Democrats. And, you know, maybe they'll buy into it, but America's yeah. not going to do uh. it. All right. Talking about President Sanders, to Judge Janine Point, uh, Sixty trillion dollars is a number for the, the the cost of his plan to overhaul the entire U.S. economy. Do voters really want either a President Warren or a President Sanders, Deneen? No, that's just outrageous. Uh, what the, what Sanders wants to do is, is raise taxes on hardworking Americans. And what Americans are seeing is more money in their wallets uh, from the tax cuts and the rollback in regulations. And so they're seeing bonuses, they're seeing wage growth. What Sanders wants to do is turn all of that around, and that's not good for hardworking Americans. The criticism, getting back to the DNC, is that the Democrats yeah. are just focused on expanding their base, not targeting voters that they need in the swing states. I mean, that's astonishing that this is what's going on right now, and they're putting up candidates who are saying, yeah, we're going to win the White House by raising everybody's taxes, by overhauling and taking over the entire U.S. economy with these policies, Green New Deal, free tuition, uh, you know, breaking up the tech companies, banks, agribusiness, you know, br breaking up the power grid, all of it. I mean, it's, 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 it's really unprecedented. You've never seen anything like this. Well, it's a radical plan, and it's off the charts. If you work in the energy industry, Liz, and you have the Democrats talking about doing away with fossil fuels uh, completely, that means doing away with jobs, good-paying jobs, not minimum wage jobs. So folks are listening. They're paying attention. And the Democrats want bigger government, which means more money and less money in your pocket. Denise Borelli, you're terrific. Come back soon. Anytime. Thanks, Liz.